Hey, what's up guys? Jax here. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and flush my brakes and I'm gonna do it with you guys. Um, I do use a brake bleeder. You can do it without a brake bleeder. Um, I just don't really recommend it just because it's more difficult. Here's my brake bleeder right here. This thing is handy. Um, there are places you can rent them. Um, I don't know, I think AutoZone, you can rent a brake bleeder. Um, and Advance, I think you can also rent a, a brake bleeder. And I'm just gonna show you the way that I do it and uh, see if it helps you guys out at all. So first up, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my top cap off. Mine's aftermarket, so it is a Allen, but um, they're usually Phillips. So, I mean, anybody's got a Phillips laying around. Uh, I recommend flushing your brakes about every 10,000 miles because that's what Harley Davidson recommends. So it's been about 13 since I've done it last. So I think it is about time. And I dropped the Allen. There we go. I'm using a Torx because I couldn't find my Allen and well, it's not that tight, so you do what you can, right? But don't follow my lead. Try to use the correct tools. All right, and go ahead and take that top cap off. Set that down right there. And, uh, What I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna suck this out of here. And then I'm gonna go around, and I'm gonna hook this up. It is an eight millimeter on Sportsters, so remember that. So we're gonna go ahead and then, oh. Would help to get my brake fluid, guys. There it is. Sorry guys, I've had a long morning. Kiddo woke me up early. So we're gonna go ahead and open that. Pour it in. What I do is I, see how this is a much different color than the fluid I had in there uh, what I do is I will fill her up and then what I, I'll bleed her out about twice and then your, your line isn't very long so I'd say after two times your fluid is pretty much changed so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna walk around and I'm gonna stick this on here So what we're gonna do is we're gonna open her up. Okay, I got my bleeder in my hand. And I just felt it, so I'm disconnected. Fantastic. Yeah, they can be a pain in the butt, just like anything else, really. So, what you wanna do is you don't wanna let her run out. Sucking all that old nasty out. Okay, 
like I said, I usually do it about twice, and then you know that your fluid is good. Now we'll go back around there and tighten her up. Hand tight's good. We'll cover her back up. There we go. And front is done, it's that simple.